Hope we set up. Right, let's do it. Let's uh, rock and roll. Oh crap, that's the PlayStation 1. I want that one. Hey, how's it going, guys? TND coming back at you. Happy Tuesday evening, everybody. It is a Taco Tuesday. We are here for the Destiny 2 reset tonight. And man, there's a lot of stuff that happened today in Destiny 2 world. Uh, we got a bunch of new information on Strand, the new subclass coming with the Lightfall expansion in three weeks. We are three weeks away from the launch of Lightfall. Pretty wild, pretty wild. But we're going to do a little uh, bit of a deep dive into the Strand trailer uh, right now. Uh, I'm sure you've taken a look at it already. I've taken a look at it already. Not only do we get this Strand trailer, but we got this whole blog post breaking down like the uh, specifics. Um, so it's going over like the uh, individual aspects and we got some fragments and other things like that. So yeah, some good stuff in here. So we're, we're gonna talk a little bit about the, uh, the Strand stuff that happened today and then probably around like seven o'clock Eastern here, we're going to be doing a Touch of Malice Catalyst run with uh, some of the guys from my clan. So if you've never seen that before, if you've never seen a Touch Catalyst run for uh, King's Fall, it's a lot of fun. This is the one that involves the basketball court at the at the the during in the jumping puzzle. Uh, it's madness. It's so much fun. I've only done it once. I only did it when I got my Catalyst. But, you know, I'll probably end up making a video out of it just so, uh, you know, if anybody needs... You know, once you get your touch of malice, I think the catalyst uh, it gives like a little like debuff. It has like an alternate fire that you can lock and then shoot it. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, so we'll be doing that in a little bit. Let's check out the trailer first, though. Uh, this is Destiny 2: Lightfall Strand trailer. Also, I got myself. Uh, let me see if the cord will stretch this far. Oh no, it won't. I got a. Um, I got a, I got a I got a stream deck an Elgato stream deck that I'm using for the first time tonight, so I'm able to switch between like uh, able to switch between like all all of my different scenes, uh, which is pretty cool. I can go from that guy to just like a straight uh, like gameplay recording, or I can go to uh, this one right here with the browser window on it. Um, all right, let's check out the trailer. How's everybody doing tonight? You guys doing good? It's good. It's, it's, uh, I'm feeling all right. Three weeks till life fall. It's gonna be wild. It's gonna be an absolute wild expansion. I can't wait for it. I just took off for like four days during the week. Um, so I can like knock out the campaign, knock out a bunch of videos for you guys. Uh, it's gonna be such an awesome time. I'm so excited. Uh, let's look at it. We got our boy Osiris. You, as it flows through everything. Ring theory, baby. Now is the time to lean into using Strand. Not back away from it. Oh man, so you see that? Also, pay attention to the music in this trailer. Uh, it's all string instruments, which is really cool. Uh, but as as warlocks typically do. He, uh, he's going to eat the grenade here. And check out this melee. This melee is, like, the coolest thing I've ever seen. Like, the, the animation. He's, like, flipping around. Uh, it looks like Scarlet Witch. Yeah, you got three melees. Boom, boom, boom. The dope. The Brood Weaver. He's the master of Threadlings. So you see, he, sh he throws that, like, little Nova Bomb thing out. But... It's not just like sitting there, like causing damage on the ground. It's got these little guys. They're called threadlings, and I, I guess they're similar, like cold snap grenades with um, stasis. Where so uh, you're gonna have that initial like burst of damage, but after that, these guys go out and like track down targets. That's the warlock. So the Titan, as you can see, and we know that the Titans, ex their strand exotic, makes this barricade thing even stronger. But you'll see when he pops his barricade here, that it's got like a beam of strand that came out from it, like a Kepri's horn. Uh, so that shot out from him, and that's actually kind of cool that it went under. It it, it broke the um, the phalanx shield, which for anybody who's played the game, you know those things are annoying AF. 
So he's got the barricade, and then he's got his lunge melee. That That is not his super that he's using. I know that we're... Uh, yeah, what's up, Pope? How are we doing tonight? We're, do we're doing a little trailer breakdown. We just got the Titans. Uh, so... So you'll see... So the Titan pops his barricade. That's... Uh, uh, I think... I'm not sure if that's going to be, like, base or if that's, like, one of the other aspects. I'll, we'll, we'll read it in the blog post in a second. Um... But he's got the the Capri's horn thing that shoots out his barricade, and he's not in a super. Your super does turn you into like Tasmanian Devil with the with the claws, but that is not what is happening in this um in this video here. Boom, boom, boom! Again, three melees, and I believe it's like a lunge melee. We'll confirm that in the blog post. But those claws that he's jumping out with, those are that's just like the that's the regular Titan melee. Now that is the super. That's him popping the super. So it's got like a... It's got like a ranged element to it with that uppercut. But we've also seen it have... Like a spinning animation as well. So it's a roaming super. Uh, I think we're going to check out the PC Gamer article too. Where they talk about some extra stuff that... Wasn't covered in the trailer or the blog post. I, I think that they did talk about... Um, I, I think they did talk about, um, uh, making, like, roaming supers, like, better in general in PvE, and I think that this is, like, one of the first steps for that. Uh, yeah, we'll have to see, like, how strong those Strand Warlocks are, but that, that might be the play. Alright, so now we got the Hunters, and you'll see, just off the rip here... Uh, I mean, we have the Shatter Dive, we have the the Shadow Dive. I forget what I forget what the Void one is called. I don't think it's called Shadow Dive. Um, but Hunters generally have these, like, dive-based abilities now. And you can see that he's using that now. Boom. Clearly has some sort of AoE effect to it. And that, uh, that like, strings them up. That's a, uh, what is that debuff called? It's called Suspend. So anytime you see them like hanging in the air, that's a that's a debuff called suspend. So what's he doing there? He, he like chucked off like a melee. So we got the shotgun. Oh, oh, it's his uh what's it called? It's it's the it's the rope dart. I forgot about that. They do talk about this in the blog post. But you'll see with his melee. Cuz again, not in a super right now. So you'll see his rope dart, you can see it on the side here. It's like bouncing around between enemies. Um, and there's a there's a thing in there where like you can get your melee energy back. You can get a ton of melee energy back if you hit your melee button again as it's coming back to you. As at, like as if like you're catching it, if you can hit that button and time it right. So you'll see. Yeah, so that's him catching it. And now he's grappling out. And then that's the super. Now the super does have additional functionality outside of the, um... It's got, the, I think this is the light attack. So the light attack is like single target damage. And the heavy attack is like the AoE damage. Where it spins in a circle. Yeah, there's something going on. <laughs> That doesn't look good. Embrace where the current takes you. The roar of the bear. I don't think that's a new rocket. Yeah, looks like roar of the bear, right? It might be a new rocket. Who knows? Okay, he's got them suspended. You can see it's another warlock aspect there. Um, yeah, apparently they're just doing TWABs on, like, Tuesdays and Wednesdays now, uh, apparently. Because the TWAB this week is just going to be all this stuff. I, I doubt there's, like, going to be a lot of, like, new information in there. Um, but you'll see, like, yeah, Warlock aspect. Warlock subclasses have a tendency to do things when they pop their rift, so, yeah, pops his rift. And then the Threadlings come out. But you'll see there, so... There's the uh, a core aspect of um, 
other trailers. Um, yeah, there, there's gonna, there's definitely gonna be the launch trailer. Um, the launch trailer for Witch Queen is really cool. I'll play, I'll play that in a sec because it was one of my favorite trailers from last year. But, um, where is it at? So there's, there's, there's these things that get created. Um, when you defeat enemies that are affected by strain, they're called tangles. And in the PC Gamer article, they they compare tangles to war mine cells. They say that they're the war mine cell replacement. And because you could do multiple things with them, and war mine cells as they currently exist have um, there's a mod called Grasp of the War Mind where you can pick up a war mine cell and throw it. Um, but otherwise, people mostly just they, they just shoot them when they're on the ground. Um, yeah, yeah, we haven't heard anything about the Guardian rank system yet, so that's possible. Um, definitely want to learn more about that, especially for new players, if there's going to be some sort of, like, new light experience revamp, that'd be awesome. Um, but let's talk about the Tangles. So this is a Tangle, and as you can see, that Titan picked it up and threw it. And you'll see the Hunter here. He grapples to the Tangle as it's being thrown. And then you... You have like a you have like a cutaway where it does like a little shoulder charge, and then I think this is the uh, hunter again. Yeah, there's the rope dart. So so the hunter rope dart is is more than just like as far as like you could get on a string. That thing is like um what, what, what's that guy's name? Uh, the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, oh my god, why am I blanking? Yondu is that his name? Yondu is like arrow that just like flies around and hits everybody. That's what it looks like. Yeah, so it bounces back, and then the hunter catches it. So that catch will refund more melee energy if you can time it right. That's it. That's the Destiny 2 Lightfall Strand Trailer. Pretty cool. What do you think? You think I should make like a little video, like a like a trailer reaction video from that? Post that tomorrow? Oh, why not? Why not? A video. Uh, so today I did a. Um, where's it at? I did a Master Duality Armor Farm video, and like literally an hour later, Dado posted the, like basically the exact same video. I was like, "You gotta be kidding me, man! <laughs> How's that happen? That's the second time. That's the second time this season that Dado and I have basically made the the, the same video on the same day." And I, I was, like, certain. I was like, all the big D2 creators today are going to be making Strand trailer stuff. They're going to be making Strand videos, and then I could just sneak in and make a Master Duality farming video that nobody's going to make. But now Datto, I guess he was too lazy to go on go live this morning to react to it. So, yeah, I know Walter. Three weeks, man. It's going to be it's gonna be absolutely crazy in the game when, that, when this thing launches. Uh, as you can see, I did a little poll... Check out my community tab, by the way. I'm always posting, like, different polls of random stuff. Um, I said, which class got the best strand kit? First, you know, this is first impressions. We, we, we know a little bit about the subclasses now, but we don't know everything. 62% say Warlocks got the best subclass with their Threadlings. And then next up is the Hunters with their Rope Darts and their Grapples. And then finally we got our Punchy Boys, or our Claw, claw Boys, the Titans. Not a lot of love for the Strand Titans, but who knows? We we, we, we legitimately do not know yet. Um, on first impressions, people have said, you know, all year, as we got subclass 3.0, that different subclasses were not looking so hot, not looking super strong, and then they proved to be really powerful. And and we don't know what all, of, um, all these things are going to look like when they're put in action. Um... Yeah, I and, and I, well, they're obviously not going to nerf anything yet. Um, uh, I mean, PvP is going to be a problem, that's for sure. Uh, you know, what, what you got to understand about any time that Bungie ships something that's new is that they it, it's in their best interest to ship it in a state that is really strong, because people that don't have the expansion or people who are, you know, new to the game and are just checking it out, they're going to see the Strand subclasses and go, wow, that's really powerful. I want to get my hands on that. 
And that means that means they gotta pay. They, they gotta get the expansion. Uh, so that that FOMO, that fear of missing out, uh, it incentivizes more people to get the Lightfall expansion. It is not in Bungie's best interest to ship a subclass that's mid, or is not particularly interesting, uh, or is one that's you know it. People see it and they go, "That's nice," but I'm just gonna stick stick to Solar, or I'm gonna stick to Void. Um, they don't want that, and if they have to tune it back. They're gonna wait a month or two. It's not gonna be immediate. Even if, even even if where's the, even if as you see here, even if PvP is in absolute like terrible state for like a month or so, couple months. It's unfortunate, but we saw it last time. They had a new subclass come out. Uh, Stasis was insanely oppressive in PvP, and is basically like a free kill anytime you freeze people. I mean, it, stasis is still a free kill in PvP when you when you freeze people. It feels unfair. I was running a bunch of stasis last week when I was busy being a god at Iron Banner. Uh, Iron Banner, we'll see you ne next uh, next season, I guess. But anyway, let's go in. Uh, actually, before we get to that, if you guys want to see the uh, the Witch Queen launch trailer, get like Pope, you're asking like uh, about a trailer. Um, we have not gotten a launch trailer for Lightfall yet. This it'll probably come out like a week or a couple days beforehand. Nah, no, I'll, pro I'll probably play the uh, the Harry Potter game once like Lightfall dies down a little bit. I just I got a lot of stuff I got to do. Get ready for Lightfall, and then obviously I'm going to be making content around the expansion. I won't be posting any videos for the Hogwarts game, but uh, I'll probably play it eventually. Yeah, we could be getting a Vidoc too. That's a good call. All right, let's check. Let's check this out. This is the Witch Queen launch trailer. Really, really good trailer. Really hype. Hello, old friend. I've chased you for a long time. Savathun, the Witch Queen. She infiltrated the Vanguard, weakening us from within, stealing our most sacred resource. Stalin, The light. How do we stop this? It still looks dope, even after playing the campaign. And the music. The music's really good in this. I think this is I think it's Pan Pantagram. Uh, that was a light blade. That was a light blade strike right there. Yeah, that's hype. I, I remember people were freaking out about the lightsaber sword. I think that's just like the Iron Banner sword that nobody uses. Parasite. Grand Overture. Yeah, that's a dope one shot. There's a 1v1. Loosen, uh, loosen Hive versus uh, our supers. No, I haven't seen Bife's video yet. Real quick, though. Real quick. We gotta talk about this, okay? Uh, would, would Val be... Would Val the Disciple be the best raid Destiny has ever made? If it started with this cutscene, if we started exactly at this spot next to the pyramid and didn't have to go through the opening section, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much better would Val the Disciple be as a raid? Uh, There's like a solid 8. It, it would cut down, it would cut down like 10 minutes. Exotic emote, that'd be dope. Just don't say. Yeah. I didn't warn you. I saw that, like, the, uh, the new... Yeah, it's a really good trailer. Uh, that the... Like, they updated the description for the Lightfall raid, and it, it makes it... Uh, it says, like, an enemy out of time or something like that, which almost implies that it's going to be a Vex raid. Which, obviously, we haven't had a Vex raid since Garden of Salvation. 
Um, let's look at the blog post. Uh, so I gotta, I gotta go do a raid in like ten minutes here. Let's see what they're doing. Uh, yeah, they still gotta fill it up anyway. Uh, okay, threads make the guardian. <laughs> ten minute ferry ride sucks. <laughs> You're the only one that likes uh, the preservation mission, I guess. From from the neon drenched drenched streets of Neptune's secret city of Neomuno to Guardian soaring through the sky by grappling to an enemy spaceship. It's been clear from the start that Lightfall is different. Yes, things are coming to a head in the penultimate chapter of the Light and Darkness saga, but Lightfall's influences and inspirations prove that there has been plenty of room for the team to let loose, to reveal their creativity and craft, and to have some fun. One of the touchstones the team drew from was the bombast and flair of 1980s action cinema. We had a couple front-runner concepts for a while, says Kevin Giannis. Part of my desire was to have something more astral in the game. Strand is also aligned really well to the fantasy of the product. The 80s action hero. The more the team talked, the more uh, concepts and evocative language that strives Strand which the terms and descriptions like weaves, tangles, and the universal strings of consciousness came to be. Though I always kind of assumed it was based on string theory, the idea that, like, everything in the physical world is connected by, like, a, a series of strings that nobody can see. Um, anyway. So I understand strand, strand, let's talk about vocabulary. Creating an object using strand is called weaving. So anytime you do, like, a Green Lantern thing, whether you're making claws or you're making... A rope dart or whatever it's called weaving defeating an enemy affected by strand will unravel them disconnecting their light force from the weave and creating a tangle left behind after a strand debuffed enemy is defeated a tangle is a swirling bundle of strand fiber so that's the the tangles are the new war mine cells the strand war mine cells that yeah it'd be interesting if we get if Nesarak comes back he's probably it probably means Osiris is dead then, right? Is this Osiris' last hurrah? I know you would love that, because I know you hate Osiris and his voice actor. That that trailer must have been, like, nails on a chalk chalkboard for you to hear uh, Osiris talking even more. Um, yeah, yeah. Gotta got love it. Uh, so, so, these bundles of Trant explode when shot, so just like War Mind Cells, causing da area damage to nearby enemies. Guardians can also pick up tangles and throw them, so you get grasp of the war mind without having to have the mod. On the debuff side, there are three new debuffs: suspend, which you suspend the PVE enemy, so you see the guys like hung up. We we see that we've seen that since the uh, first trailer. Um, they get lifted up for a brief duration, and they are essentially disabled, so they don't they don't do any damage anymore. They're stuck. Uh, in PvP, suspended players are lifted off the ground but can still move slowly and fire their weapon. From what I, I think I was reading, I don't know if it's in this blog post, but they say that um, you can only like hip fire your weapon or something like that when you're suspended. Revision Zero, are you talking about? Um, you're talking about Quicksilver Storm, right? Quicksilver Storm is getting a catalyst in Lightfall where the grenade version of it will spawn tangles when you get kills with it. So yeah, that'll be really good. Uh, unravel. Attacking an unraveled enemy will cause threads to burst out of the target and attack other nearby targets. Once hit, that target will also become unraveled. So I guess unravel is like uh, is like jolt. It's just like a, like a catch-all debuff for Strand. And then we have Sever, not to be confused with the mission uh, from Season of the Haunted. A severed enemy is uh, a, a severed enemy is less capable of affecting the material world, reducing their damage output as a result. Uh. All right. The major buff coming with Strand is called Woven Mail. Uh, yeah, the catalyst should be cool. I wonder how it's going to drop. My drop is like part of like the Lightfall quest or something like that. They push it back. Is that what they're doing? 
No, they're not. Okay. Uh, with this ability, the Guardian is sheathed in a protective mesh of strand matter, reducing incoming damage. So, this is a this is a damage resistance increase. Like we need more of those, but <laughs> I'll take it. And if you and if you remember back to the trailer where they talked about the strand exotics, the hunter strand exotic, whenever they get woven male, they get like an extreme flinch resistance, which it, it sounds kind of boring, but I guess for like PvP players, it's important. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible that like woven male just brings you back up to like what our current um, tier ten resilience looks like. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, note that in PvP, Woven Mail will only reduce damage taken on the body. Head damage and melee damage will continue as normal. So that's already them. This is a really cool image. It's already them like trying to get ahead of the PvP problems. Okay, so we're talking about the grapple, grapple hook. Uh, can anchor to any point and then begin pulling the Guardian along. You can always propel yourself through the sky, even if there's not a solid surface to latch onto. You Guardians will also be able to execute melee strikes during the end of a grapple, known as a grapple melee, which will deal bonus damage, unravel an enemy, and push them backwards. So you can basically... You can grapple to an enemy... Uh, you can grapple to an enemy and then do like a knockback effect as you're um, as you're uh, about to hit them. If anybody's ever played like an MMO before, uh, gap closers are a pretty common ability in MMOs. So it, it almost seems like what these grapple melees are supposed to be is that it's a way to close that distance fairly quickly between you and a group of enemies, which is nice. And you know, for anybody that's like a movement tech expert, this is like really really awesome. Uh, okay, no, we're fine. All right. Yeah, concepts around ropes and strings. Uh, and then they talk about like the uh, the actions per minute here, which is usually a term that's brought up in like League of Legends or like StarCraft, like those types of games where like you're constantly like like typing, you know, slamming the keyboard or like clicking your mouse like crazy. Um, which, yeah, like he says, it's not really a thing that's happened, like, in Destiny before. He says, uh, this is like an example. He says, I defeat an enemy with my melee ability, and they unwind into a tangle. So, tangles the Wormine cells. I grapple onto the tangle, which refunds my grapple, which I, I don't think I talked about that yet, but apparently that's a thing. Grappling a tangle gives you a free grapple. Uh, and then snatch the tangle out of midair once you get to it. So he grabs it once he actually makes it over to the tangle. Then I hurl the tangle at a group of enemies in the distance, grappling them, uh, grappling onto the tangle again while it flies and pulls me through the air behind it, which is, which is really cool. It's basically doing what we saw in that trailer, but instead of two guardians, you're doing it with one guardian. You're picking it up, you're throwing it, and then you're grapple hooking as you're you know, as it's in the air flying, it's pretty dope. Um, as the tangle nears a group of enemies, I slam downward out of my grapple to suspend a lone enemy who split off from the group while the tangle slams into the rest of the group and explodes. So there's a lot of really cool dynamic interactions built into Strand that makes it feel unique. Uh, it's pretty dope. Sounds really cool. Uh, I think this is definitely going to be, like, the subclass for higher skill ceilings. This is going to be for people that are able to, like, fly around and do a bunch of stuff in a row. Um, there's going to be some, like, really cool compilation videos, I'm sure, of people just, like, absolutely railroading enemies uh, and PvE content with Strand that are just, like, it just looks like they're flying around. I can't wait to see it. It's not going to be me. I'm not that good, but somebody, somebody's going to make some really cool content with that stuff. All right, let's talk about the subclasses. Warlock is our strand minion master. Let's talk about Threadlings. Threadlings are explosive minions woven from strand batter. 
Um, so you get a little, you get some buddies. This is like a uh, like a pet class, um, which I, I don't think we really have in Destiny outside of like Ark Souls and like Child of the Old Gods that kind of stuff. But uh, what what it says is all Threadlings will run forward, jump on enemies, and then explode. I was reading in the PC Gamer article that originally Threadlings, when they were coding it, were Screebs. And there were Screebs that were just like T-posed, and they were like throwing Screebs at them. Uh, which sounds like nightmare fuel, but it's like funny that that's like what it's developed from. Uh, so they say that... Uh, okay, if I'm a warlock... Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's say I have three Threadlings and I only need two of them to defeat an enemy. If I'm a warlock, the last one is going to run back, hop on my back, and... Uh, uh, condense down into a form that is orbiting me, which is known as perching. Then the next time I attack an enemy, I w it will pop off and attack that en same enemy, which really gives a sense of having these minions that are doing my bidding. They love me, and they want to come back and hang out with me. So it's very similar to Ark Souls or Child of the Old Gods. Child of the Old Gods, obviously, you pop it, and then it goes attacks any enemy that you're attacking. But it sounds like the Threadlings are a little bit more dynamic. They can do both. They can like immediately like seek out targets, like Cold Snaps, or um, they can kind of like sit on you like Arc Souls and then pop out. Uh, so it's cool. It's a cool idea. Uh, but it's not just in summoning wieldling Threadlings that Warlocks excel with their strand melee attack. Warlocks cast Arcane Needle, a deadly projectile which tracks targets, causing high damage and unraveling them upon impact. Warlocks will be able to quickly chain three Arcane Needle attacks in a row. And if you want to see that again, that was the... Uh, that was the beginning of this other trailer. Strand as a strand into using. Yeah, so this is the one, two, three. That's the arcane needle melee for the warlocks right there. Um, oh, okay, looks like we're getting the raid started. Uh, I don't even have my PlayStation on. Uh, but yeah, if we have some time after this run, we'll uh, we'll come back. We'll talk about the other two uh, other two classes for sure. We will throw that over there. Do some do do, do some 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 catalyst runs here, and here we go. Look at that. Putting that stream deck to work. It's nice. Hey, what's up, guys? Wow, that's really cool. So I, uh, I just got a, I got a, I got an Elgato stream deck over the weekend. You guys know what that is? Yeah. Hey, what's up, Brett? Yeah, yeah. It's like a, it's like a programmable like macro pad. Yeah, it is the ultimate programmable macro pad. Um, but uh, I've got like a like a special Discord plugin that is like perfect for me. Uh, which, uh, it allows me to individually adjust your guys' volumes, or, or mute you guys, uh, for the stream. Um, and it, like, automatically, like, fills in people based on, like, who's in the VC for Discord, which is dope. So, like, I'm looking at my stream deck right now, and I can, like, see your guys' names and your profile pictures, like, just, like, automatically filled in. And I can adjust your volumes as needed. Oh, you're hearing? The, are you? Were you hearing the echo? I just got mute. Yeah, I'm just not a. I, I mean, I'll probably play Hogwarts Legacy eventually here, but I'm in too deep with the Destiny stuff. <laughs> if you checked it, have you seen like my latest videos, Brett? Like, channel's doing pretty well lately, so uh, I'm just kind of sticking with Destiny for now. But I'll, def I'll definitely play a lot Hogwarts Legacy 
eventually. Uh, maybe, like, next season, at the end of the season, like, when it's in the down period. Like, we're kind of in the down period right now. For this season, there's not much going on. Though, we are getting a new uh, activity next week, which is the season finale event. So, I'll probably come back and do that. Um, but, like, right now, I'm just doing, like, Lightfall prep stuff. Though, I will play like, Hogwarts Legacy eventually. I'm interested in it, for sure. I do that. Ooh. That's interesting. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, whatever you want to do, man. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's doing really well. Though I, 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 I got, I got screwed over today because freaking, uh, freaking Dado, D Dado made like the, <laughs> the identical video that I made today. But uh, it's still doing well. How's my video today looking? Uh, oh wow, we're at 2k views already today. Yeah, it says video is doing real well. It's not bad. And I'm, and I'm monetized. I, I don't know if you saw that. Channel got monetized like almost a month ago. So, made like, I think I made like almost 200 bucks in the last like month just by yeah, posting videos. Uh, a lot of that, I have a couple of videos that have gotten like a lot of views. That's that's like most of the income. But yeah, got a lot of cool plans coming up for uh, Lightfall and beyond. Working on some collabs with like different uh, people. I've got a uh, collaboration stream tomorrow night with uh, a, a D2 creator named Dichronic. He is mostly known for doing uh, really, really detailed weapon spreadsheets, like damage count kind of stuff. He's got like he's got like 160,000 subs. Really cool guy. I've been DMing him, and uh, he was like, hey, you want to do a stream together? I don't usually stream on Wednesdays, but I was like, hey, why not? So uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock. Me and him are going to be doing some Master Duality carries, so it'll be like the two of us plus, you know, people that are hopping in and out. If anybody wants to get that, uh, where, where is it at? The Sweet Artifice Armor. Look at this thing. Whew. A 626-26 roll. I got this last week. So this, this last slot is going away. You see, this is only uh, artifact mods right now. This can be slotted in as an additional armor piece. So it won't be plus 5 and plus 10. It'll be plus 3. But it also will be zero energy. So it'll have no energy cost. It's just like, imagine like a plus 3 resilience on this. So instead, this piece is a is a 9 26 26 roll and it's not even it's not even master worked yet so add add two to each stat on top of that for 12 more it's a beast absolutely want to be farming artifice uh gear definitely check it out in my discord server i put a checkpoint bot in there i tried joining on it a couple times it's very busy that checkpoint bot there is a non-zero chance that i just bite the bullet and play through master duality myself to get a cp uh because that's how like how much of a struggle this has proven to be I, I, I got a super chat. Itsy Bitsy <laughs> Spider the Creeping Torgo. H have you seen... Have you seen Manos the Hands of Fate lately, Brett? I, I have not seen Manos in such a long time. Uh, for for anybody, anybody who doesn't know where the reference, go watch uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000, the, the OG one, and check out uh, Man Manos the Hands of Fate. It is a... Super, super weird movie. That, from my understanding, the lore behind the Torgo character, who's supposed to be this like creepy dude, this like henchman, it's like he's like Igor. Uh, yeah. Have you seen? Yeah. Uh, oh, apparently, the, apparently the Torgo actor got like addicted to like painkillers or something because of like the prosthetic they made him wear on his legs. For him to walk weird, um, and like he, he like died from like a uh, like opioid opioid yeah opioid addiction because of it. Tough look, tough look for our guy Torgo. Uh, yeah, you, you need chest and boots. Yeah, because that's 
that's the thing about the artifice armor is that before like the only artifice piece you really needed was a bond because all of the good artifact mods are on the bond uh yeah that's poor torgo have you seen the um have you have you seen the uh, the netflix mst3k the reboot I, I've, I've only watched like a couple clips of it i i mean i like Pat oswald uh i'm sure it's okay I, just, I haven't checked it out. Oh my god, I love I love the stream deck. It's like anytime somebody in my Discord chat is like too loud and I don't want to hear them, I can just I can individually adjust their volumes on my stream deck, and then I can just mute and unmute myself on a whim. Yeah, it's what it's like a couple seasons on there, right? Definitely, if if you're interested in watching people talk about bad movies, I cannot recommend enough Red Letter Media's Best of the Worst series. Um, it, it's it's incredible. There's, those guys are so freaking funny, and the movies that they watch are legitimately insane. If you want a recommendation uh, that I think you'll like a lot, Brett, is um, they did a video on a movie called Clash at the College. And I won't spoil anything about it. It's it's so bad and so, like, dirt budget. Uh, it's incredible. It's super funny. Red Letter Media. They're probably my favorite YouTubers. If I, if I could pick, like, my, like, pit peak, like, what my YouTube job is, my ideal YouTube job would be, it would be what Red Letter Media does, where they they just sit and they watch, like, crappy movies and then talk about them in their warehouse in Milwaukee. That's living the dream. Oh my god, why is Dim so freaking slow? Is, is, is Dim, like, really slow for you guys today? I can, like, barely... Yeah, I can, like, barely get Dim to load. Yeah, we really need those loadout systems, like, ASAP. Holy cow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, our boy Saltagreppo here, I'll pull it up on my stream. He, um, he, he found a glitch that if your teammate, uh, give me one second, picture it, there we go, Let's scale it up so everybody can see here. Yeah. So so if you ta if you tab out of your game when somebody on your team is performing a finisher and they have like aeons or something like that, when they load back, this happens. Do, do, do you guys are you, are you guys looking at my stream right now? He's get, apparently his buddy had aeons and uh, loosen finisher on, but salt. He he, he tabbed out and then tabbed back in, and he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's ten heavy bricks on the ground. Ten heavy bricks. So, tough look, tough look for our people people at Bungie. Hopefully they patch that before the day one raid. I am not on PC, so I can't actually test this. But for uh, for, for any of you guys on PC, there you go. It's a free a free heavy ammo glitch. I'll show it to you again. It looks like they're just doing they're doing like a legend lost sector. So he gets that barrier champ low. He's tabbed out.
And then he 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 loads back in like as the finisher happens because you can see it on the screen that the enemy died. Um, and then he runs up, and there is all that heavy ammo. Look at all that. <laughs> it's not good. It is lit. It, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It might be eleven. It might be eleven bricks. It, it it's it's too much heavy ammo. It is all of the heavy ammo. Uh, really, really tough look for uh, <laughs> for for our guys there, Bungie. Hopefully, they get that fixed. Every every week, it's like something something else breaking in this game. Uh, what, what did you guys think of the uh, the strand trailer? Yeah, we're we're just going over it and stream here a little bit. Uh, yeah, just like uh, you know, breaking down like the different subclasses because th there is like a good bit of information in those blog posts, like how the tangles the tangles are basically war mine cells, but with strand. Um, you can shoot them to make them explode. You can pick them up and throw them, so you don't need like a mod to be able to do that. You can just pick them up and throw them, and they'll explode. Um, but not only that, but you can pick them up, throw them, and as the tangle is in the air, like, hurling towards the enemies, you can grapple onto it to propel yourself towards the enemies with it. And then you can, like, let go of your grapple in midair to, like, either shoot or, like, do an ability. Um, the example that they used in uh, the blog post was, like, the, the hunter has got, like, a new, like, uh, shatter dive thing. Uh, with Strand, that you can, like... So you could, like, do, like, your dive attack after you grapple the Tangle as you throw it. Uh, it's really cool. If you watch the trailer, there's a clip of the Titan at the end of it. The Titan throws the Tangle ball, and the Hunter grapples onto it as it's flying. It's really dope. Peppa Pig is 7 foot 1. It's, it should be in the NBA. Pick the wrong job. Was that Gru? The tall family. What? Milk, you're gonna need to explain to us live, live on the internet, why you are currently watching the Minions movie. Yeah, you guys, you guys are gonna play some Overwatch, huh? <laughs> I know, I know what Overwatch is talking about. <laughs> oh, oh, my, my guy's overwatching and chill. Is is your friend? Is your friend more of a, a, a tracer or a diva? What do, you, what do you think? I don't know. T, you got any thoughts? T, T knows all about those. T knows all about those Overwatch videos. <laughs> it's like, don't don't check my search history, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I've got I I've, I've gotten a couple streams that have gotten like limited ad availability like after I've after I've gone offline I'd be like oh we must have been cursing on that one I guess yeah it's like uh it's like a, yeah it's like a Capri's well they showed it in um okay I'm going back to my other scene uh so so the Titans. That. So so that yeah so the titans like their one barricade will like shoot us a, a beam out from it here do I have it a no I did not 
one second. Yeah, so if you see on, yeah, all right, I got it on stream now. Yeah, so you'll see I'm 30. It'll be 31 in like three months. I know, I know, I look younger. It's the uh, don't don't let the the baldness, the male pattern baldness, deceive you. Uh, but yeah, you'll see see the uh, the see the beam like going up the stairs here. And and not only is the barricade beam like going up the stairs, but it's gonna it's gonna get this phalanx here, and I, and we all know that like killing a phalanx with a shield up is really annoying sometimes. But it just flattens them. Actually, I think it I think it suspends them. Actually, that new suspend debuff, because you can see them like hanging up in the air, and and import and, and you'll see like you see him doing the claw thing here, right? And on first glance, you might think that he's using the super, but he's not using the super. This is his melee. No, it's no, the claws are a melee. Titans get three melee charges at base. So you'll see here one, two, three. That's three melees. And you'll see here he's doing he's gonna do a slam. That's that's the super. But before it was not a super. The uh, the new Titan super, it's got like an uppercut here, which does like a beam straight. And then he's got like the uh, the Tasmanian Devil thing. And then the hunters have their like their strand like shatter dive thing here. Yeah, yeah, it's called a rope dart. But you'll see here he throws it right, and it's it doesn't it doesn't work like Scorpion Sword uh, uh, Rope Dart like if you play Mortal Kombat. You'll see it it flies around kind of like Yandu's arrow in Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, like it, it like flies around like tracking all the enemies. And at the end there, I couldn't tell what that was at first, but you see the rope. This is him catching it. In the in the blog post. Let me see if I can find it. Um, yeah. So its melee attack is called Threaded Spike, and it throws out a rope dart that bounces between enemies, damaging and severing them before returning to the hunter. Upon its return, it grants melee energy for each hit. Hunters can catch the rope dart by pressing their melee button again at the right time. So if you have the perfect timing when that rope dart comes back to you, Perfect timing will earn the player an additional amount of melee energy. So I'm guessing, like, if you hit a bunch of enemies and you have the perfect timing when that thing comes back to you, you'll probably just get your full melee charge back. So you'll just be able to build into this. I don't know off the top of my head. Do hunters have, like, something like Synthos or Worm Gods that, like, buff their melee damage? You know what the... You know what the, You know what, Now, you know what this would be good with is Assassin's Cal. You, you go invis every single time. <laughs> every single time that rope dart kills something. Look into it, people. Assassin's Cal, strand build. Keep an eye, keep an eye out for the build video. That's uh, I'm putting that one on my list. Str strand plus invis. It gives double melee. Oh, oh, you're talking about um, um. Well, no, was it six? Six coyote gives you double dodge, right? That's true. Yeah, Omni Oculus gives you double melee. I don't know if that's specific to just void. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so Hunter Aspects, Ensnaring Slam, will in the air, press the air move input to slam downwards, so this is the Shatter Dive or whatever, suspending all nearby enemies, so that's pretty cool. And then Widow Silk, this aspect grants an additional grenade charge. So one of the one of the Hunter's Strand Aspects is just a second grenade, aka a second grapple. 
Um, so hunters will just always have two grenades. So uh, warlocks and titans will both have three melees, and hunters will have two grenades. Um, well, that that's what I was talking about here. We'll we'll, we'll go to that in the video. So, so you see here, th this thing right here is called a tangle, and this is like a base part of Strand. Um, anytime you defeat an enemy that is affected by Strand, it will spawn a tangle. Or it, I don't know if it can't if it, if it's like a probability thing, but it it, it will it will spawn tangles. Where's it? It says that up at the top here. Yep. Uh, it says, defeating an enemy affected by Strand will unravel them, disconnecting their life force from the weave and creating a tangle. So, defeating an enemy with, affected by Strand is what makes these things. And they say in the PC Gamer article, the tangles are the Warmind Cell replacement. So, that's why they're taking Warmind Cells out of the game, is because the Strand stuff is basically Warmind Cells in a subclass. Um, but you'll see here, the Titan is picking it up and throwing it, because with Tangles, you can do one of two things. Just like you could do with Warmind Cells, you can shoot them and make them explode, or you can pick them up and throw them. Now, with Warmind Cells, you need a mod to be able to grab them. And with Warmind Cells, when you throw them, they don't explode. But Tangles, that's how Tangles work. If you throw them, they explode. Hey, what's up, Rockhound? But yeah, see, if you look at the, the thing here, Titan throws it, and then the Hunter grapples to it as it's flying through the air. And then it exploded when it hit the enemies. Um, but apparently, yeah, uh, uh, apparently that you could do this, this whole thing here where the Titan throws the, the Tangle, you could do this as one character. You could throw it yourself and then grapple to it. Yeah, well we we got we got some fragments. We got threat of ascent activating your grenade ability, reloads your equipped weapon and grants increased weapon handling and airborne effectiveness for a short time. So this is a PvP fragment. I mean, activating your grenade ability, aka using your grappling hook, reloads your weapon and gives you handling and airborne effectiveness. It's perfect. That's perfect for, P for PvP. Uh, doing, like, airborne attacks. Um, Threat of Fury, damaging targets with a tangle, grants melee energy. So, say goodbye to Warmind Cell builds, say hello to Tangle builds. Uh... Yeah, so tangles, tangles are strand warmind cells. Yeah, so the tangles can be picked up and thrown, and they'll explode, or you can shoot them and they'll explode. Or, or all right, eight minutes. Or or rock, you can, and they show in the trailer, you can pick it up row it and grapple it as it's flying through the air. Um, we have Threat of Finality. Finishers generate Threadlings, which are the little uh, strand things on the ground. The, uh, the PC Gamer article says that Threadlings, um, when they initially coded it, were T-posing Screebs. Nah, sorry, pal. Thread of Warding, picking up an orb of power, grants Woven Mail. So Woven Mail is like a damage reduction increase, so... That'll be good, that'll be good for like, whatever like, endgame builds people make, you probably have that, just because it's, it's free DR.
He's busy playing Overwatch. If you know what I mean. I know. I I know the game. When I when I when I was in college, that was like, that was like when the term Netflix and chill like first became a thing. It was like when I was in college. That was back before it became a meme. You that's back when you could literally ask somebody, "Hey, do you want to come Netflix and chill?" And like, you could get away with it. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was uh, I, I would I would play uh, like Futurama, or um, or Firefly. You guys ever watch Firefly? Um, the old uh, the old Joss Whedon show that got canceled after one season. It's really good. It's only got one season in a movie. It's really good. Get a buff. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Yeah. But Bungie expect hun expects hunters to create their own grapple arenas. I don't know if you guys saw it, but the Hunter Super, you can basically like grapple infinitely with it. You can go like full Spider-Man with it while you have the Super active. So that should be pretty dope. I'm really excited. And they said in the blog post that they don't want Strand to be like Stasis is with Beyond Light. Um, you're going to have basically the full subclass like when you complete the campaign. You're not going to have to go back and like grind for like fragments and aspects and stuff like that. You'll just get the subclass. Which is pretty sweet. The, uh, cause yeah, Beyond Light's really grindy. The stasis stuff. I saw, I saw, I, I saw some people, I forget which video it was that I did, but somebody, like, in my comment section was telling me that, like, their game has been bugged and they haven't been able to, like, get the last stasis aspects on one of their characters. And apparently this is, this is, like, a known bug that's been in the game for, like, a while. Like, that's awful. No, I, I looked it up. It's, 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 it's a known issue. Yeah, it's like newer characters. No, I saw. I, 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 who was I watching today? I think it was like Sweat School was like laughing at this section. He said that by chaining grapple tangles, his team has been able to get halfway across the King's Fall ship section, which is funny, Pope. You'll you'll find this funny. Is that like? Is yeah, like like LOL. People can already get through the entire ship section <laughs> using other subclasses. Uh, what am I? Or, what are me? Uh, Diachronic and I are doing um, master duality carries. We're gonna do um, probably like through his stream. We'll just like have like viewers be able to like hop on with us and do a couple runs. I do need to get a master Keitel CP. If anybody has a master Keitel CP. Hit up your boy, cause I, I that that poor checkpoint bot is just getting it's getting passed around the yard, as it were. I don't know if we don't end up doing this raid. If you guys just want to like run master duality, so we can get to the CP, that's that might be a faster way to do it. Yeah, I did. I did get some really good artifice gear last week. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's not too tough on Master. Yeah, I really liked, um, I was watching Dado's video. Um, feel free to watch Dado's video after you watch my video. Um, after you watch my video twice, actually. Uh, I need, I need, I need, I need the views. Like, 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 comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, but in his video, his playthrough, he, he was using a, he's using bait and switch, plus a null composure, plus aggro scepter. That was his loadout, and I was like, it's a pretty good loadout. And he was, it wasn't even like a stasis build, he was on like, Bonk Titan. Yeah, po yeah, Pope, I'll let you know. Yeah. Yeah, next week we're going to be doing the, uh, the season finale mission for sure, so if you and Milk are around, we'll be doing that. Oh snap! We got a full team. Does, does anybody here actually need the Touch of Malice Catalyst, or are we just messing around doing this? Okay, all right, that's good. I know how to do it. I I, I I've done it before. Basketball time, baby. Let's do it. I may be stuck on... Yeah, we've been waiting here for like an hour. <laughs> Milk's upset now. You interrupted his Overwatch time. <laughs> I can I can see a blush. I can see you blushing through the through the Discord. <laughs> I can I can just mute you. Look at that. That's one button on my stream deck. Muted. I, lo I love having this power. Oh my god, why will my dim not load? <laughs> why is this so slow today? Uh I think I think I think the mission will be an activity. I think I think it'll be exactly the same as the end of Season of the Lost. Yeah, if you guys don't know, there's a new mission next week, so definitely log on on your for Tuesday. It's gonna be a new uh, new match made activity that they'll be running for two weeks instead of one week this time. Six touch. Six, six touch versus Oryx. No, it's not. Yeah, that's the one it was to play. Yeah, it's, it's possible. It's still the same thing, though. We'll see, though. We'll see. Yeah, I might be stuck. I might be stuck in this Stasis Warlock build that I was using for, uh, for Iron Banner last week. Because <laughs> I can't switch my dim. Alright, who are we waiting on? Uh, T, T, T from this train station. Now Rock's here. Now T, T's internet must have died, died again.
All right. Uh, actually, yeah. Let me pull one of my touch of malices. I think I have a few. Uh, yeah, I have three. Um, I ha I have done the catalyst before, so. But I think I'm I think I'm gonna turn this into like a guide video. So, um, each of the individual sections, will will get everybody in position to run the things, and then I'm just gonna do like a quick like look around the room so I can just get the footage, and then we'll we'll knock it out. It, it's only three, yeah. It's only it's only three sections. There's one. First one is after we do the opening encounter, we stay outside. We don't go through the portal. Uh, it, it's out in like the Court of Oryx area. The second, yeah, second's in the Golgoroth maze, and then the third one is in the YouTube demonetization puzzle. Um. Oh. Uh. Uh, and that's where you run it, you have to, like, run backwards through the jumping puzzle, and then, like, up a floating set of platforms again, and that, that gets you to the basketball court, and then the basketball court's, like, it's just, like, you having fun, there's really no challenge to it. Yeah, oh, I forgot to say that, yeah, streakers always spawn when we pick the things up. R r yeah, running the, r running the orbs... Running the orbs is exactly like this opening section, with the major difference being that you can use your jump to its full capabilities when you're doing the catalyst runs. Um, and then in the in the jumping puzzle, you can actually do like a melee spam to like run up the wall. Uh, you'll see when we end up doing it. It's it's not as hard. It, it, it took us like a few attempts when we did it. I got right. All right. Um, milk. We, uh... Anybody? Milk jumping the gun. What? The first one... The first one spawns in the middle. Alright, first one's down. Alright, I'm ready. R right side's ready. You would not catch me dead watching a Minions movie, unless it was like one of. Is it, if I was stuck with like a like a teenage relative or something forcing me to watch it. Uh, right side's ready. Let's go. Is that what that proves? What's the uh, what's what was the biggest odds on that one? I don't know. Milk watches a lot of hockey. Hockey, hockey, hockey. Hockey, ha hockey has fighting, but it's like uh, it's a very it's a very unique version of fighting where you you pull the other person's jersey over their head, and then uh uh. Are you ready, Mo Are you ready, Milk? Yeah, this is four.
Listen, we need more PvP modes that don't show how many kills you got at the end of the game. That's that's a that's in my best interest. Oh, this is a long run. All right, you ready? Oh, yeah, I can see that. I I think the time doesn't start until the second person picks up anyway, right? Uh. And my defender died. Yeah. <laughs> Just post it up. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make this one, fam. Yeah, that's my bad. I'll keep you... I... What's spawning? Are you ready? It's fair. It's tough, tough, but fair. Yeah. Yeah. yeah typical Matthew not showing up for events when he didn't sign up. I'm just messing. <laughs> no, I'm talking about I'm talking about this event. He's not even he's not even in the stream chat. That's some moderator he is. You gotta come hang out. Come hang out with uh, Big E Little NX. That is that is that is that is our guy Pope Francis. Can't race already. Everybody stay out here. Do not go through the portal. Yeah. Here, demonetize. Okay. Uh, I believe... Actually, the only thing I don't remember is where the plate is. Okay. I I, I I have touch of malice. I can I can switch to it. Touch of grass. Alright, so what what we're looking for around here is those like same orbs you gotta run. My understanding is that it's like it's like random locations. I tr I I tried looking it up online to see if like because obviously this catalyst isn't exactly new. It's been in the game for like six months. Um, the I was hoping that people would like have like made a map of the locations by now. It, that does not appear to have happened. Yeah. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have everybody like we're gonna locate them all first, and then. And then have it, everybody like stand next to one, and then I'm gonna stand at the portal and just look around. The hell, I don't even know what. Th this is like a D1 area, right? Yeah, there's like there's like tunnel, there's like tunnels and stuff. God, it's just all sorts of DCs tonight. <laughs> yeah, 
So someone someone thought you were trying to solo Crota? No, you'll be fine. Have we found one of them yet? Can, can we just refer, can, can, can we just refer to your friend as like Tracer or something? Just like use one of the Overwatch names. Holy moly. I'm struggling hard. This, this, is, this is the worst this is the worst guide video of all time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is not I do not post unedited videos. <laughs> Oh crap. I'm an idiot. No, I'm an idiot. Where where's Ben? Where's the plate? You're on it. You stepped on it already? Yeah. Yeah, because the or the orbs don't spawn until you step on the plate. No, I. That's not the right plate. Because it, it should be glowing, I believe. The one that we're supposed to step on. Now, it, it, it doesn't matter if we do it before or after. Yeah, that's what I'm checking. I could have sworn it was in one of like these like open opening areas here. Yeah, Cause I know one of them spawns back here. Live looking up guide videos. You think so? Because 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 people DC'd on us. Blame 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 the junk rat. See some too. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> God damn it! I I died. Wipe for damage. You guys, you guys want to retry it and do it and do it before the encounter? See if that's the thing. I agree. Um, like like I said, I, I'm pretty sure when I did it, it was after the encounter. I, I leave I don't even know if like doing it before the encounter is even possible. But I 
Did, did you tell her that there's actually a boss in Destiny that you can defeat by pulling your Ethernet cable? It's a little, little, little fun fact. It's, it's just D2, because I, I know when um, when teams were doing practice runs for King's Fall, they went back to D1, and all of them had to, like, boot up their old Xboxes and stuff. Yeah, I've never, I've never played uh, D1, at least for, like, an extended period of time, but we lost somebody, like, as immediately as we got in here. Um... I think you. I think you only need four people to run the orbs anyway. All right, so let's just run through here. If anybody's still back there. Okay, yeah, just stand next to it once you find one. Yeah, we already got that. We're, we're grabbing, like, the orb things like we ran at the beginning. I think one's over here. Yeah, they're random. Uh, th there, there should be one, like, right when we load in, if you look up. Oh, I, I got one. I got one on me. Somebody can come over here that doesn't have one yet. All right. Don't grab it yet. Okay, you're you're on one T. Okay, uh, the rock. You got one. And Dak, you got one. All right, cool. I think that should be all of them. So just give me a second. If you guys want to take like, if you guys want to take like screenshots of like where you're at right now, like looking at it, uh, and send that to me, um, that'd be cool. You don't have to. Yeah. So. All right, so everybody is going to. You see where Dylan's standing? Everyone's going to be running to me and dunking on the statue. Do not dunk when you get here. Wait for all four of you, and then we dunk, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's only four of them. All right, everybody ready? All right, three. Two, one. Remember, you get your regular jump. Oh, I'll get the triggers. To the middle. Uh, I'm on the raw. I'm on the wrong loadout for this. <laughs> Touch a mouse for a shrieker. He said he was resetting everything. He should be able to.
Solo strats. All right, three, two, one. Yeah, just pick up when you get there. What in the world? Woohoo! What a save! Golgoroth maze. the DMs guys. Oh shit. Uh Dak will be there in a sec. Sorry. Uh, that was the other one, but we'll make it work. Got good range on it. Yeah. Hell, Mal. You know, yep. Yeah. You're right. We, in, getting the catalyst only requires you to do um, through Golgoroth. You don't need to do the last enca two encounters. Would have pulled his own Ethernet cable. I believe in you. Oh no! Guardian down. That's so close. Not paying attention. He's, he's doing his own thing.
Yeah, that yeah, that gives you a checkpoint right there. I, be I believe in me. Yeah, I, I saw on uh, NFL memes. Yeah, thirty-seven to thirty-four is a weird score. Also, on that, on that, uh, that's that like, you know, fake leak. Um, it has like the, I think the score's tied like ten ten at halftime, something like that. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't think it's gonna be a shootout. I mean, there, there's a non-zero chance that, like, the Super Bowl looks exactly like the NFC Championship game, where, where like, where, like, the, 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 um, where the Chiefs are, like, stuck with, like, Chad Henney in the second quarter, because <laughs> the, the Eagles killed Mahomes. Oh my god. <laughs> A Phoenix dive instead of Icarus dash. That's what I get for putting those on the same button. I got on the right plate. Yeah. Oh, I don't even want to know what he's watching. Ducks are bigger. He's he's identifying ducks as waterproof chickens. <laughs> that's, that's a description I've never heard before. Yeah, that's uh it's not surprising.
Yeah, they're really sit. They're saving you. We just talked about this. Were you like me? Ooh. Okay. Uh, d d d ducks are ducks are physically ducks are physically larger than chickens, so I would go with a duck. Yeah. It's like, have you ever heard of um? Yeah, you you ever you ever heard of a uh, um? Uh, <laughs> the deck. Oh. Uh, listen, I mean, if you know, if you ever heard of like a turducken, right? I mean, those are like three birds that are like orders of magnitude bigger than each other, enough so that you can stuff one inside of another. And a duck is bigger than a chicken. But by that same logic, though, a turkey would probably mess up a duck. Yeah, it's one of those roosters with the big, the big chest. Yeah. A, ro a, a rooster with a pistol. What 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 aspects and fragments are the birds using? Yeah. He's, he's trying to fight through it. Oh, people, somebody put on stop now while we're waiting. Guardian. Checkmate. Yo, Xeno's gotta be a beast next season. It's going to be in that, that machine gun buff next season, I think. Oh, and also with the Master Keitel farming, uh, Keitel also drops um, the machine gun from Duality, so if you still need red borders for that. Yeah, I don't even know what I, what I need. Need two more. All right, so we got we got two more puzzles left here to go, guys, and then uh, that'll be it for this run. So, because the the catalyst does not require you to actually complete the raid, 
You just need to complete all the way up until the last puzzle, which is in the um, which is in the jumping puzzle, the big open area. And then we'll play some basketball. Can't wait for our boy KC Fearless here. He uh, he got DC'd out of the raid, so old Bungo spawns him all the way back at the very beginning. It's a tough look. Tough look. Yeah, though, I am really liking this, like, Stream Deck integration that I got with my Discord. I'm able to mute myself, which is something, like, I, I would have bought the... I would have paid the money for the Stream Deck if all it did was give me a, a macro that allowed me to, to mute my Discord without having Discord directly open. And, like, being able to... And being able to mute and like lower the volume of dudes, like 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 my friend Moke here when he's shouting, it's great. I love it. Wait, wait, is she calling me old? I I am not old, okay. Yo, don't don't be don't be giving me that. All right, I I I I will I will I will drive to Shippensburg right now. Okay. Don't make me come over there. Right, it's gone off the rails. Ugh. So, what, what do you think will be War Priest damage next season when they nerf linears? Yeah, because like I don't know about rockets because. I lock you guys out. All right, eat. We got this. I believe. Guys, you guys gotta keep up. Are you guys not still watching minions? <laughs> that's that's exactly what it is. Jose is a sleeper agent. We don't talk about it. Jose. Rock. Rock, I'm giving you 10 seconds to get your load out square. 10. Oh, God. We're, we're doing it live. Milk's on the clock. He, he's got some Overwatch to play. Oh yeah, I'm at 10 seconds. Uh, anybody? Anybody coming? Nope. Yeah, I'll grab it. For the record, I was running towards him. 
the the very late. Here, just go back. Go back to the middle. Go back to the middle deck. Yeah. Do I actually have somebody coming over to right? I got four seconds. All right, run it. Run is saved. Yeah, you're good. No deck. At ten seconds. Halfway there. Job T. We just stunned that champion. Seven seconds. <laughs> Rock was taking a detour. <laughs> oh, we got on stop. Unstop's dead. Yeah, we should be done soon. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> All right. Anybody on, um, just like a few people put on loose and finisher. And we'll just, we'll just finish a bunch of dudes in here. And then um, we need someone on Div. Uh, it'd be the uh, the wizards or the uh, the knights. I'm not sure. I'm honestly, not sure if they even spawn heavy ammo, but they should. Yeah, they should. Yeah. 
pop it on weekend just in case. All right, uh, I'll do I'll do middle plate. Um, we need a left plate and a right plate, and then we need a uh, two knight people on top of that. Okay. Okay. You say knight T. Okay. So uh, all right. So Dak, you got plate right. All right. Uh, milk. Mister Milk. Are we ready, sir? Oh uh, no, we gotta push him. I understand. It's very important. Right, just make sure you rallied. You're not doing anything. We good? Remember, we're, we're head glitching on the right. Or uh, unless we get left first, then we'll go. We'll jump up to left first. So you're not doing anything. We're we're we're, we're gonna got knights and plates covered. Oh, yeah, yeah. Take yeah, take yeah. Take take right side knight then, because yeah, we don't we don't want Div to be a knight person. Knights are out. Uh, Alright, get ready to do glyphs. Getting on. Right side, right side, get on. In the middle. Alright, right side damage, I get well. Uh, got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, now we're going to stay right. it is. I don't know, Chihuahuas get angry, man. Those things are vicious. Baby chicken. That's incredible. This is an amazing dialogue. Alright, I'm getting on. Getting off. Right side. Oh shit, you didn't get on. 
Fuck, man. I thought you got on already. Alright. Getting on. Getting off, that's gonna wipe us. Yeah, he said right side. Right and left. Let's do it again. Alright, let's rock and roll. Get on your plates. Milk. That's Mr. That's Mr. I'm on the clock right there. I love the animation when you step on the plate. It's just so it's so aggressive. Alright, Muxer. Left side. Left side, Casey. That's not Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It should work because it, it it works the same. It, it should work. I believe it works the same way the Aeons does. It just um, it just gives it gives you ammo on top of. I right, get ready for glyphs. Getting on. Be me. Getting on. Left. Got down. Yeah, I switched. Yeah. I switched a bit. I, yeah, I switched a bait and switch for that one. Cool story, bro.
Alright, I'm getting on. Getting off. It's gonna be me. Left side. Right side. So we, we 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 don't we need, we don't need to go left uh, the next one just whatever gets it go go to that side. Yeah, I ran out of heavy. There was actually there was a heavy brick that dropped for me mid DPS phase there, <laughs> and I I did, decided not to run over to it. Now we're fine. It's got like no health. I got heavy anyway. Well, that that I mean, I, I do that in this encounter anyway. I don't I don't aim for his body. Ooh, another heavy brick. Yes, sir. Yeah, switch to outbreak. Six, six touch of mouse versus outbreak. Put it on YouTube. Uh, oh, did I say glyph start? I didn't see it. Getting on, getting off. It's gonna be right side first. Are you on? Okay. See you, pal. All right, so next one's in the uh, the Golgoroth maze. We have to do the maze itself first, because the plate you have to step on is in next to the secret chest. And then same as before, yeah. I want you guys just like get to your general locations, and then I'll um I'll just look around to show where you guys are. But by, by the way, the statue that you're running to is basically at the end of the maze. Um, it's in one of the, it's in one of the holes. Let's see, go that way. Uh, just go through the maze as normal. What was your, what was your question? Yeah, we're doing the plates. Uh, Casey's over there. Um, yeah, if you guys just if you guys just come to me, I'll tell you where to go. Milk. Yeah, Kate. Yeah, Kate. Yeah, yeah. Casey's over there. Yeah. Oh. You guys take these back. You guys take these back ones. Yeah, the back plates. Yeah, two, two two's over there. Five's back here. Hey, Nicholas. Thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. We're doing uh, doing a little touch of mouse catalyst action here. Yep. There's a statue right there, right where Dylan is. Yep. I'm not entirely sure yet. Alright. Uh, Rock, get on. Alright. Dak. D. KC, Milk.
All right, I'll get on the I'll get on the plate. So here is the the touch of malice plate right here. It's it's next to where the uh, the chest is. But yeah, you guys just just stay in your spots if you can. Okay, I'm gonna get on. Do we do we know how many spawn in this in this maze? It, uh, okay, it's four again. All right, rock. Okay, Casey's got one. All right, we got to find one more. Okay, cool. It, it's over here. T, it's over here. All right, sit, stand. Yeah, stand next to yours, guys. Um, and again, I'm just gonna I'm gonna stand in the middle and. Just get your general location. So the deck, Casey, it's like next to your plates, basically. Okay. 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 And then Rock is right above the... He's right above the chest, basically. All right, and then I'm I'm, I'm going to go to the statue, so that's where you guys are going to run into, okay? It should be through here. Let me just confirm that I got the right hole. That's always important. Uh, okay, so you're going to run into Dylan. Get, pick up in three, two, one. Get in the hole. Yeah, there's lotion. What's the lotion on the skin? Alright, big dunk. Three, two, one. Alright, good job, guys. Team effort. Now you gotta get out. Let me throw a rope. Sorry, T. Happens to the best of us. You got hold. Alright, who's gay one and gay two? That's true, I'm well also. Yeah, she doing a she doing a room impression. Tell me why so. I did not hit her. I did not. Uh, Alright, let's roll. You guys get that reference? The room. Look it up. This is the last encounter. Oh my god, did. We we get we get five man Golgoroth. No, he'll, he'll get the, he'll get he'll get his catalyst as long as he's with us when we're doing the basketball court. Yeah, yeah, it's like that with the effects method class also. Should I make? Do, do you want me, Milk? Do you want me to make a uh, community post on my YouTube? And see what people think. It's my community post. Usually, they get a lot of votes. <laughs> I, I just Photoshop it. Um, Milk's not gonna be able to rally anyway, so.
So it's gonna be the uh, the first class you guys go for for strand and lightfall. I gotta say the warlocks. We don't have like a, a true like pet class in Destiny. Um, warlocks would be a really cool pet class because the threadlings they like jump on you and they like sit on you until the uh, until like you're near an enemy and they'll jump off and attack enemies. <laughs> I heard that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Do we have somebody else getting gaze? Okay. Alright, time to spawn camp them so they don't come out the doors. Knights are out. Right, Knights dead. Yeah, he's looking at us. Just take it whenever, Milk. Dropped. Go, go, go. I got well. thing. I got it. Place barricade. Man, that'll be incredible for those Sightons. So, good damage. Yeah, we, we may have had a slight barricade based issue in one of our DPS phases. Yeah, yeah, I got well, so I'll we'll be able to get him first or, first or second orb. Knights are out. Uh, he's looking at us, so go ahead.
He's dead. All right. So Yeah, this this would be very poor timing because we're almost at the end. All right, time for Yeah, so you can, you can like traverse up these walls just by spamming the melee. When you're when you're running those orbs. Uh, Rock, let me let me get to the plate. Oh fuck! You gotta be shitting me. Oof, that was poorly poorly timed. Um, I gotta go, I gotta I gotta get all the way to the end first to get on the plate. But for anyone that's curious, you need we need to be working our way back all the way to the top right where we came in, and there and there's gonna be a set of platforms that go from there that take us up to the basketball court. We, we need to... You, you guys need to be, like, spread out through the jumping puzzle, because that's where they spawn. They don't, like, all spawn at the end or anything. Again, it's random. I'm not sure exactly where they spawn in. Give me a sec. I'll be over there in a sec, and I'll get on the plate. Alright, I'm getting on the plate. Yeah, there's one that spawns right there. I can, I can, gra I can grab that one. Okay. Say milk. The statue, the statue is all the way, yeah, where you are, Casey. Like, all the way at the top right. You should have seen platforms. I think it's four again. Yeah. There's one. There's one here. I'm shooting another one. There's one over here. Yep. Uh, sure. I don't think I'm running one at the moment. Rock, you got this one, right? Yeah, I'm gonna work my way back to you guys. We'll do the same thing. Where like I'll stand at where you need to go. Uh, T, you got this one. Okay. And then, is there another one back here somewhere, guys? Well, we already have three covered. You're on one, T's on one, and Milk's on one. Okay. Is there, is, is there only four uh, again here, um, Rock? Okay. So, yeah, as you can see, there's a whole, like, another set of platforms that spawn now. Um, it's like a stairway. I just, you know, we're going to have plenty of time here, so just take it slow. And then you're going to work your way all the way back to where I am. Yep, yeah, so you can literally go up the side walls, and it's kind of faster than walking it. Um, by just, yeah, just spam your melee over and over and over again against the wall, and you'll you'll slowly work your way up the wall. All right, so we got we got yeah we got Dak on one, T is on one, Rocks on one, and Milk's on one. All right, you ready to pick up? Three, two, one. And you guys are coming up to me. Oh shit! And I'll get the shriekers.
And I'm out of heavy ammo. That's not good. <laughs> uh, that's not good. Uh, yeah, I think it spawns back. Got 50. Yeah, yeah, we gotta wait for two. See if he can make it back in time. He's got 40 seconds. He's got plenty of time. Oh no. What'd you get, Dickwald? One, one job, did not get Dickwald. Yeah, looks like we're doing another round of this. We got we got to respawn the relics. Well, the timer wasn't up yet. That's why. You guys get like a full minute or whatever to run it. Yeah, well, now, now you guys know that it's it's a very long time. You you can slow ball it all the way through this jumping puzzle. Yeah, they're yeah, they're random spots. I can grab the I can grab the one that's over here. Yeah, just let me know when everybody's in position. All right, all right. So rocks on one, mil mil milks on one, Dax on one, and then I got one over here. Is everybody ready? All right, let's go. And we got shriekers again. We got time. Shrieker dead, T dead. We have 40 seconds. Final stretch. And go. Let's play some basketball, boys. Everybody everybody, get up here. So you're literally... You're just going to... Uh, you're just going to jump up and grab the orb in midair, and then you just dunk it at the end. You d you, yeah, you dunk it in the statue. Yep. Yeah, you, you well, you've got you you've got like the shock cannons that do this. They shoot you up towards it. All right, play some basketball. Yeah, just dunk over and over again. We have to we have to dunk like a certain amount of them in the time limit, but yeah, we'll get it easily. And there you go. We got four Touch of Malice Callus. That's, that's, that's fun, right? Ba basketball court. Alright, have fun with your Overwatch. Make sure to wear protection.
Uh, no, we'll probably we'll, we'll just stop it there. Did yeah, see ya. Did yeah, no problem, guys. Enjoy your catalyst. Yeah. All right. See you, man. All right. Yeah. And that's gonna be it for the stream, too, guys. Uh, good run. Solid run, right? Playing some basketball. I think what I'm gonna do is take all the footage from the stream and put it into like a little guide video for people that want to know how to do the catalyst. Um, it was a good refresher for me, honestly. I'd forgotten that we you have to do the first section before you do the opening encounter. Um, but yeah, it's fun. It's a cool little catalyst. Definitely uh, try to get you know as many of your catalysts done and whatnot before lightfall drops. But yeah, it's gonna be it for me. My next stream is tomorrow evening with Mr. Dichronic. We will be doing master duality carries. Uh, get some artifice armor for some folks. Hopefully, I get a CP by then. That's the first thing I'm gonna do when I get off here is try to uh, find myself a CP. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for me. Make sure to check out my uh, my latest video, uh, like, sub, all that good stuff. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. Go birds.